Hi, Brian Ritchie here, medical exercise specialist and owner operator of Fit for Life DC, a medical exercise studio here in Washington, DC. I've been asked today to talk to you guys about something that we don't do very often, but it's about that time of year that's going to happen shoveling snow. All right, shoveling snow, we all have to do it, and it hurts so many people. I can't tell you how many people walk through that door and have low back issues, hamstring issues just from shoveling snow. So I wanted to give you guys a couple of thoughts to keep in mind when you're doing it. Okay, I want you to look at this picture. First of all, when you look at this picture, I think that this is one of the best ways to shovel snow. Do you see how she's sort of pushing the snow forward? I call it the slow, snow plow method. Okay, so you, what I often do is I put the actual snow shovel into my stomach and just walk forward, pushing it. So I'm pushing the snow. I've got a one car driveway. So for me, I start at one side and just push it across. Other side, push it across. It's one of the easiest, fastest ways to clear it. Now, the only problem is you can only do that for about an inch and a half of snow, two inches max, okay? Here in the Washington DC area, we get a very heavy, dense snow, oftentimes. When we have that heavy, dense snow, what happens is people try and do a regular shoveling motion, right? And what's a snow shovel? It's big, it's wide. You can carry a lot of snow on each shovelful, right? Well, when you do that, that's a lot of weight. It's a whole lot of weight on a long lever. You're just asking for back problems. So if you're gonna shovel like that, take less. Take less and take your time, okay? Now, another thing that I see, people have a tendency to do what's comfortable. And we all have one side that's very comfortable, right? Shovel on that one side. You go to the other side and you feel a little awkward. It's, it's just not right. So my suggestion is this. Do 10 on one side, 10 on the other. 10 on one side, 10 on the other. Or 20 and 20, okay? I do that. I count them out. I'll do 10, I switch sides, I'll do 10. I wanna be balanced. If you continue to do one side and one side only, you're creating incredible muscular imbalance, you're doing a repetitive motion over and over again, you're gonna strain yourself. Think about this. If you do a workout you've never done before or something you haven't done in a long time, like lunges, okay? You haven't done them in a long time. How sore are you the next couple of days? Really sore, right? Well, the same thing is happening here. Unless you live in a place like Minnesota, or Rochester, New York, where you shovel a lot, let's face it, you don't do it very often. We don't do it around here a few times a year, okay? So if you're doing it only a few times a year, your body's not accustomed to it. Switch sides, okay? Don't do something repetitively, constantly for hours and hours on end. And finally, I can't emphasize this enough. Take your time and take breaks. When we had snowmageddon hit through here, we had about three and a half, four feet of snow, okay? Do you think I just went through and powered through? No, I did it for a little bit, I took a break. I do it for a little bit, I take a break. Take a break, okay? Those are my suggestions. I hope you have a wonderful holiday season. I will see you soon.